you have to take classes. Um, and the board needs to, um, Mr. Server has expressed that he absolutely has interest in getting his CDL. There are some circumstances where he cannot drive some of our, um, one of our trucks if he does not have his CDL. Um, but he expressed that he is, is not in the, you know, financial um, position to put out the money for this. The entire thing all said and done, which covers all of the, the permit costs, the testing, the in-road time, everything like that, is or in-truck time on the road, is estimated to be about $5,000 at a local um, entity. So you can take it through like CCAC, things like that. He said he was willing to do it on his own time um, during the nights and weekends. But, um, you know, it's up to the board uh, because there's a, it's a discuss and then an approve um, for the township to potentially pay for him getting his CDL to drive his truck. I've bumped into Frank, opened up the subject. He told me verbally he would be willing to go in the evening. Uh, if he went during the day, he wanted paid during the day, whereas in the evening he would not require to be paid. I think we should, if we decide for him to go in the evening, we should get an okay from the, uh, through Gary, through the union, that it's okay to send him in the evening without pay. Uh, you can get him to sign something for, stay here for a couple years, but you'll never get him to pay anything. I think he's a good guy. Uh, five grand is a lot of money. But if something would happen to Ron or Albert, we're down to one guy to drive a bigger truck or tow the sewer jetter around. I, I think I think he needs to get the CDO. But I, again, I think Mr. Sweat should go through the union to see if it is legal for him to go to the evening classes not getting paid. The only thing I would say, Rick, is they're going to set precedence on every guy coming up. I, I agree with this. You know, when I researched, there is no, there's no getting around no, somebody there's, else now. There's not. I agree. Yeah. I, I, don't know, I don't know what else to, to say. We have, we have three vehicles, uh, two trucks that are required for CDL, and anytime they hook that sewer machine up and tow it, that'll be the third one. And if, probably, technically, if they tow those uh, mowers around, they could get overweight there. I, I think we're in a the catch-22. We, we, we've got to have a CDL, I guess. Um, in, in hindsight, maybe that's... I, I think he was a good pick. I was going to say maybe we should have picked somebody with a CDL, but I think he was a very good pick myself. Uh, just to also 